Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to put your student pictures into Destiny, as well as your staff pictures. When we're on Destiny, uh, if we go to the back office, you'll see a selection over on the left that says Upload Patron Pictures. If you click on that, you get a prompt that says Choose File. We're looking for a picture zip file to choose, and then we're going to upload it. However, we need to make the zip file first. So what you're going to need next is you're going to need your student picture CD. You can get this from your secretary at your building, or if the secretary doesn't have it, you may need to contact Rob Landers. Once you have the CD, put it in the computer. And I went ahead and just copied the entire folder into my folders so that I could have it just in case I need it in the future. And I've saved it right here, photo disks for Campbellton. And here's the file that was on there. I renamed it to something that made better sense for me. This is what you're going to have on your CD. Now the CD is full of basically pictures that are JPEGs and they're, they have four digit numbers for staff. And then if you scroll down, you'll see five digit numbers for students. These match our Lumen numbers, which is good because that's going to make our life easier. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a file called data file txt. Um, that has the information that we need to make our map file. You will not have the zip file here called files or the idlink.txt file at the end. idlink is the map file that we're going to create, and then we're going to take that file and all of our picture files and zip them into a file that we can upload. So the first thing you want to do is open up data file with Excel. So I'm going to right click on it and say open with and go to Excel. If you don't see Excel right here, you may need to go to choose default program. If it's not listed there, you can go down to other programs. If it's still not listed, you can click browse and you can just type Excel up here and it'll look around and this is the one you're looking for that says excel.exe. Now, if you do go that direction, you may want to uncheck this box that says always use the selected program to open this kind of file so that uh, those TXT files will still be opened with notepad or wordpad or whatever the default was on your computer. Once you open up the file with Excel, you're going to notice that you make this warning here. Um, I'm going to skip that. You might notice that all of the information is in one column, column A, and we need to separate that. So I'm going to click column A to highlight it. And then I'm on the home ribbon, or I'm going to change the ribbon over to the data ribbon. And then I'm going to click on text to columns right here. Once I click that, I'll make sure I have delimited checked right here. Click next. And then I want to change this from tab to commas. And then click next. And then click finish. And what that did was it just divided everything into separate columns for me. All I really care about is column F. So I'm going to highlight columns A through E right click delete and then I'm left with column A. Now I'm going to right click up in the column A here to copy the whole column. Then I'll click on B and right click and paste. So I have two duplicate columns. I like to get rid of the highlighted here by clicking escape on the keyboard. Then select column A. Make sure that you only have column A selected. What we need to do now is take out the .jpg. So if we come up and we go back to the home ribbon and we come over to find and select right here and click replace, I can now type in the find what box. I'll type in .jpg and I'm going to leave replace with empty. Once I click replace all, it removed the .jpg from all of those records in column A. And I've got two columns. One is the Lumen ID and one is the Lumen ID .jpg. And they match up. Next, I want to go up to File and click Save As. Go into my same folder. And I want to change the name to idlink.txt. You can see I already have it done up here. So you'll click that. I can click that and that changes my file name or you may have to type yours in. Next, we do not want to text 
tab delimited file. We want a CSV comma delimited file, delimited file. And then just click save. I'm going to put a two in mine so it doesn't save over my old one. And say yes here. Okay, now you can close that. When you go back now, you'll see that you've that file has appeared. Here's my new one. It's called ID Link 2. I don't really need that, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Yours will just say ID Link.txt. Now to make the zip file, what we want to do is select everything. So I'm just going to click Control A. Select the entire folder. <clears throat> I'm going to hold down Control and I'm going to unselect data file. You won't have a files.zip yet to unselect. So the end result is that you have all of the JPEGs from top to bottom and that new ID link file that you created. Make sure all of that's highlighted, but you don't need data file any longer. Once that's all highlighted, right click on it. Go to send to and go to compressed zip file folder. What that's going to do is it's going to create a, it's going to compress the information and create a zip file for you that'll be right here. I named mine files.zip. You can name it really whatever you want. I'm going to cancel this since I don't need it done again. When you're done, you'll have this file in here called files.zip. If you open it up, you'll see all of your pictures. And then at the bottom, your ID link.txt. So I'll go back. This file, files.zip, is the one that I want to upload to Destiny. So if I go back to Destiny, I'd say choose file. I'd look for that files.zip. I'd say open. I can see it's attached right here, and I'd click upload. Now, once that's done, you'll get um, in your report manager, you'll get a file that you can open up and it'll tell you everything that it did. If you have any questions or problems with this, if it doesn't work for you, give me a call or give me an email and I'll try to help you. Thanks.